When growing up as a kid, did you ever want to be as brave as your favorite superhero? Yes, of course you did. When you think of bravery, what do you think of? Well, I think of someone who isn't scared or afraid to stand up for what they believe in. Mary Mahoney did just that in a time where African Americans and women did not have as much rights as the average white male did. She took a stand for what she believed in and strived for excellence that should be contagious after learning her life experiences. In studying the great accomplishments that Mary Mahoney had in her life, I believe we can all learn important life skills that we should start to incorporate in our lives today. The information I plan to provide during this presentation mostly comes from the University of Jacksonville's post on Mary Eliza Mahoney's biography, The First Black Nurse. And I will also tie in references from the Mary Mahoney's biography and also the archives of women culture on Mary Mahoney. Mary Mahoney's work in the field of nursing and being a woman's activist impacted women's rights and African Americans' rights. I will discuss Mary Mahoney's life, referring mostly to her careers as being a nurse and an activist for women's rights. Before I begin talking about her career as a nurse, I should mention some important things like her upbringing that led her to the career she is known for today. Mary Mahoney was born May 7, 1845. Some sources may say April 16th, in Dorchester, Massachusetts. Mary Mahoney grew up with her parents and her two siblings in Boston, Massachusetts. Mary Mahoney's life interests first began when she was a teenager. As an African-American female around 1878, Mahoney first did not get to take the lead in jumping into being the career she is known for today. Mahoney, at the age of 33, entered the rigorous 16th month nursing program at the New England Hospital for Women and Children. Before getting into the nursing program, she worked 15 years at the New England Hospital for Women and Children doing various jobs such as cook, janitor, washerwoman, and also an unofficial nurse's aide. Around 1878, she began working towards being a nurse at the hospital she had already worked for for the previous 15 years of her career. In 1879, Mahoney received her nursing certificate, making her the first African-American woman in history to earn a professional nursing license. Mary Mahoney spent most of her career working as a private nurse around the U.S. Eastern Seaboard, making her reputation flawless. Mary Mahoney is one of the first members of some prenate nursing programs that are still used today. She was one of the first original members of the prominently white nurses associated alumni of the U.S. and Canada, which is now known as the American Nurses Association. She later helped co-found the National Association of Colored Graduate Nurses in 1908. Mahoney served as the national chaplain of the NACGN. Mahoney also gave the welcoming speech at the first convention of the NACGN. After spending 40 or so years being a nurse, Mahoney then turned her focus into women's equality. Mary Mahoney's life revolved around not only fighting for the rights she should have as an American, but also fighting for the rights she and others should have being an African American, a woman, or both. After 40 years when Mary Mahoney decided to retire, she then set her focus to fight for women's equality, which gave from her national professional career, she took off and led the race. In 1920, at the age of 76, she was the first woman to register to vote in Boston, Massachusetts. Mary Mahoney later died January 4, 1926, at the age of 80, after losing a three-year battle with breast cancer. Despite all the possible negativity that came from others, Mary Mahoney's life, we should consider how brave she truly was. When Mary Mahoney was a teenager, she had an interest of being a nurse. Fifteen years later, after working for the New England Hospital for Women and Children, she then decided to pursue her dream and enroll in a nursing program. After completing the harsh nursing program, she began work as a private nurse around the Eastern Seaboard, where she was known for her flawless work. She retired about 40 years later and then pursued being an activist for women's rights and African American rights alike. Her legacy lives on in the program she helped shape in the beginning years of their existence. This 
Despite what other people may have thought in this time era, Mary Mahoney made a mark, not only on African Americans' rights, but also women's rights. In life, sometimes we need to reflect on someone else's life to fully understand the importance of our own life. Mary Mahoney's life was about being brave no matter who you are, female, male, or the color of your skin, making the most of your life and finding something you love, and can also strive in greatness in it that will forever leave an impression of the greatness you are capable of.